Hey guys, Robert 3D Printscape. So today's video is going to be pretty quick. It's covering the changes in Cura 5.4, which just came out. Uh, there are two changes that are worth noting, uh, then a bunch of bug fixes. The main two changes are the change in the tree support, how they're structured to use less filament, and in some cases reduce time, uh, but break off more easily. And then the change to how the brim is created to make that easier to break off as well. So I'm going to show you that in Cura side by side, so going between uh, 5.3 and 5.4 to show you the difference. And then I also wanted to mention that I am working with the Pad 7 still. I'm working on getting uh, multiple printers set up with that, so I'm hoping uh, that'll be my next video. Uh, so I know a couple of you guys have reached out asking when I'm going to release that, so hopefully in the next couple weeks. Um, I was out of town last week for work, and the previous week was a uh, holiday, so I wasn't able to get too much done. Uh, but I'm hoping to catch up in the next week or so. If you guys have any questions about what I'm covering in this video or would like to see any other videos, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. And if you haven't already, uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. All right, with that, let's go ahead and jump over to the computer so we can get started. All right, guys, so we're here at the computer. We need to go ahead and download Cura. We can get that from Ultimaker's website, which you can see here. I'll put that in the link below. Uh, just go to download for free, which is scroll down here, and then download it for whatever version OS you're running. I'm running Windows 11, so I'll just download that and then go ahead and kick off that install. All right, and then for the install, just go ahead and hit next, agree, next, and install for default settings. All right, then we can go to launch Cura, and you can see they kind of changed your launch screen a little bit. Uh, it's one of the changes they made for 5.4. All right, so Cura should launch into the What's New screen. Uh, there's two main features, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, uh, that I thought were worth talking about. Um, the new tree support, which is pretty cool. I'll show you some examples between the two versions there. And the new way that they're doing the brim. You can't really tell in the Cura preview, but I'll show you a way that you can tell with a different G-Code preview. But those are the two big improvements with 5.4 to me, and actually the reason why I made this video, uh, I thought there are large enough changes to uh, justify making the video. So let's go ahead and hit next. So here's your tree support, like I mentioned. Your brim, they changed the way that they do the inner layers here, uh, so it makes the brim easier to peel off. I did run a couple examples, and it was easier. Um, so that's pretty good, especially if you use brims quite a bit. And then they also added some additional stuff for the Ultimaker printers, um, which I know most of this community is not too interested in. Here's their full release notes. A lot of this just covers uh, the changes to the tree supports, what was actually done, and to the brim settings, and then some bug fixes that they had. Uh, which it's not worth going into each one of those, but it is good to see that they are fixing bugs and getting community feedback and addressing that. All right, so let's go ahead and hit close. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna import something to show you the difference in the tree supports between 5.3 and 5.4. So I'm gonna go ahead and load a bridge test. I know with a bridge you typically wouldn't use any type of supports, um, but it was a good test to be able to show the difference. So look, here's uh, 5.4, let me go ahead and pull up 5.3 side by side. Okay, here we have the same object in both versions, so 5.3 here on the left. So if we go to about, you got 5.3.1. Then on the right here is 5.4. Let me go ahead and add in the tree support. So just go to support. Generate supports and switch it to tree if it's not already set to that. And then slice, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. set to tree and same settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice it. And let me close these. Now I'm gonna go into the preview on both. And here's where you're gonna see the big difference. So if you look at these from the front, you can see here with 5.3 uh, that it's almost completely blocked by the support. It's gonna use a little bit more filament. And over here on 5.4, it's breaking those down a lot more. It's gonna use less filament as you can see here from the estimates. Uh, in a lot of cases, the actual print estimate time did go down. In this one, because there's so many supports that are small, it increased by a couple minutes, but it's still using less filament. Um, so you can see from the top that each one of these, it's doing the same thing on. Uh, so that's a pretty big change to the way that the tree supports are done, and I think it's a welcome change because A, it uses less filament, and B, it's going to make it easier to uh, 
take the supports off. All right, so let's go and look at the brim settings. I'm gonna switch over to just a cube and show you those. Okay, here on the left, we got 5.3 again and 5.4 on the right. As you can tell here, you can't really tell a difference because this is only showing you the layer. Uh, so they all look about the same. The only difference is maybe how it's showing based on the zoom. Um, but if you use a G-Code Previewer, like I have one on my um, Big Tree Tech Pad 7, I'll bring up here in a second, you can actually see the differences between the two. All right, so here's the G-Code Viewer on the Pad 7. So I'm gonna go to Local File and grab the 5.3. It's gonna be hard to show these side by side, but you'll be able to see the difference. Um, here, it's kind of, it's going through, it's making the brim now and get, watch as it gets closer, you'll see how it's doing the pattern. So it started to go backwards and it's changing the way, it's just reversing the layers each time and then switching it up a little bit in the middle, where if you go ahead and clear that and pull in the one from 5.4, do the same thing, the outside's gonna be the same, it's not gonna really make a difference until you get towards the inside of it or where it touches the print. can see that it's kind of shifting things around quite a bit. Like I said, I would love to get one of these side by side. I just haven't been able to. Um, but there are distinct differences here um, that did make it easier to break off. I didn't want to just show an image in Cura saying that there are differences uh, because you can't really see those there. So I wanted to actually show you uh, kind of what the differences are and what they're doing. But to me, those are the two big differences uh, between 5.3 and 5.4. Like I said, there are other smaller ones. Um, I will be updating my profiles on my site within the next couple days, probably this weekend for 5.4. And then um, when new versions come out, I'll keep the profiles up to date. And if there are changes like these that are worth making a video on, uh, I will create that as well. All right, guys, so that's Kira 5.4 in a nutshell. Um, really focusing in on the bigger changes, like I said, uh, around the tree support and the brim removal. Uh, both of those are nice changes and I think will make people's lives a lot easier, at least for those who use it. Uh, I use both of those quite a bit, uh, so I was kind of excited for that change. Uh, I haven't been making videos for every release of Cure. I've only been doing it for uh, ones that I thought had a big enough change. Uh, so like the last couple ones, I don't think I did a video for and I didn't do one for 5.3. Um, but either way, I will be updating my profiles and getting those up to the site this weekend. So if anybody's using those, you can go to download the newer ones for 5.4. And if you have any questions about what I covered or would like to see any other videos, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below or join us on Discord. Thanks.